In today's video, I'm going to be trying to survive 100 days in the abyss. I have three objectives. First, obtain full robot soldier armor. Second, defeat the ant lion overlord, leader of the insects. And finally, eliminate the skeleton king, ruler of the northern abyss. Can I survive 100 days in the abyss? Stay tuned to find out. Do you want to fight the custom bosses you see in our videos? Consider subscribing to our Patreon. For only $5 a month, you'll have full access to our exclusive maps and private SMP server, which features our custom bosses and much more. Check it out. It's linked in the description below. Wait, what kind of cave is that? I'm not sure. Never seen anything like this. Let's go check it out. This cave is really strange. I wonder what kind of ores we'll find. Ah! What just happened? Where, where even am I? Forest, are you around here? While I'm gathering wood, I noticed that nearly 90% of you are actually not subscribed to my channel, so consider subscribing, it's literally free, and you can always change your mind later. After gathering some wood and some basic stone supplies, I eliminated some pigs to get some food. I even ended up running into some sort of tarantula. I had to take this down pretty quickly, otherwise it would have killed me. I also noticed behind me there was a grasshopper. I spent the next couple of days looking for a safe place to build my base. Yeah, we're not gonna build a deer. I even ended up running into some sort of lion. Yeah, we're gonna get the heck out of here. I made my furnace and smelted up the rest of my food that I got. Then for the next couple of days, I found a secure location to start building my first base. It turned out to look pretty clean. I mean, I don't have windows yet. I then went to the little cave outside of my base, grabbed some coal, and made some torches. I then placed torches around my base and got jumped by a Galak Bonebreaker. Yeah, I didn't know, but apparently when you mine blocks, Galak Bonebreakers can spawn on your head. We retreated back to our base, not having enough blocks to make windows, some weird gremlin jumped through my wall, so I had to bury myself in the wall. After some time went by, I dug myself out of the wall in hopes that the gremlin was gone. After seeing that the coast was clear, I ran directly into my base and immediately blocking up the windows. I realized that I didn't have any more food left and let alone I couldn't even sprint and I had this massive insect running at me. I ended up exchanging hits with this insect and it hit me down to three hearts. After getting a couple more swings in, I was able to take it down. Oof, that was a close one. Luckily close by, there was a group of pigs. I definitely needed those if I was going to survive. After eliminating the pigs, I turned around and realized that the lion was charging at me. It's definitely a good thing that I had these blocks, otherwise I likely would have been this lion's dinner. Once returning back to base, I mined out an area to build a little wheat farm. I also made those cooked pork chops, that way I can regen my health. Now that I have a stable food source, I farmed the wheat and made some bread. I also had found some iron just outside of my base, made myself a pickaxe, and then headed for the mines. I ended up gathering some temple ore, and I found some gold. After mining the gold, I looked down the hallway and some purple figures started flying at me, so I got the heck out of there. I ended up placing a wall right beside me so that purple figure couldn't get me while I crafted a crafting table and some furnaces to make my iron. And as you guys can see, we ended up getting enough iron to make ourselves a shield, a chest plate, and leggings. After a little bit more mining, I found myself a big vein of iron here and smelted up the rest of the iron armor that I needed. I smelted up my iron boots, helmet, and axe. On day 10, I made it back to my base, and when I walked up, I realized my door was open. Someone had been here. When I walked in, I saw a sign, and it says the insects will get you. What the heck does that even mean? I went outside to gather some water and got jumped by this dark, mysterious creature. As soon as it hit me, everything just went darkness around me. It must have had some sort of blindness effect. Good thing I crafted this shield, otherwise I would have been dead, and with one more hit, I eliminated it. While I was spreading torches around, I got jumped by some green rat, and it threw me over the wall. What kind of steroids did this rat take? This thing is strong. Anyways, with one more hit, I was able to eliminate this green rat. Anyways, from days 11 to 14, I went out exploring in attempts to find forest. I found myself jumping on the top of a mountain and saw some weird looking insect running at me. Could this be what the sign was referring to? The insects will get you? Yeah, not gonna happen today. Anyways, after exchanging a few hits, I was able to take down that insect. Wow, that was actually a pretty close fight. 
Close by, I saw this white structure in the forest. I purled directly at it. I had no clue what this structure was or what lived here. I made my way up the stairs and an insect dropped from above. I immediately jumped back down to eat bread to regenerate my health. I made my way back up the stairs and began fighting one of the insects. I blocked his attack and killed it fairly easily. And then I turned the corner and there was two more of them. I realized that these insects seemed to struggle quite a bit with hitting me when on the stairs. So I used that to my advantage. With one last hit, I eliminated the insects. I looked around and literally didn't find anything here. What could the purpose of this place be? I didn't stop my search for forest there and I found another sign for life. I found nether warts. Could this be potentially forest space? I quickly realized this wasn't forest space. This was some sort of nest for these fiery spiders. What the heck even are these? I found it was very effective to go underneath them to kill them and they weren't able to hit me that way. I made my way to the entrance and got greeted by a Lancelot the Hollow. What even is this thing? Looks like some sort of mutated zombie or something. I entered the base and it looked like I was almost in the nether and some fire ants ran at me. Oh my gosh, they do a lot of damage. I had to run right in the water. Just when I thought I was safe, I got hit. What the heck just hit me? I realized that these fire ants shoot fireballs at you. What in the world is going on? What game am I playing? I went underneath it for a good angle and when it shot its fireball, it literally killed itself. Can we get a hashtag Dumbo in the comments? I then eliminated this cow and it dropped molten meat. I looted a chest and got some cobwebs and in the other chest I got some instant health golden apples and some more cobwebs I then borrowed the rest of this person's loot and headed back to base on my return back to base I got jumped by a group of killer ants so I ran into a problem okay I forgot to write down the coordinates to my base so as you can see I spent the next four days creating a brand new base I also gathered some red sand and smelted that into glass and as you guys can see our base turned out absolutely beautiful I continued my search for forest for the next three days on day 31 in the depths of the jungle, I found some weird area guarded by this mysterious creature. I honestly don't even know what to name this thing, but good thing I had my shield because I was able to negate most of the damage and defeat it relatively easily. I made my way down to what seemed to be the entrance of the base, and inside there looked to be some more of those fire ants. I immediately got a few hits on this first ant and defeated it relatively easily, and when I walked in further, there was even a couple more of them. I walked outside and used the doors to my advantage, eliminating eliminating these fire ants. I still can't believe they shoot these fireballs at you. That's a little ridiculous. Anyways, the first couple chests didn't have anything, and the third chest I opened had a robot soldier helmet and Demise's sword. Now that looks pretty awesome. What I didn't realize is while I was away, some mysterious looking doctor came up and griefed my base. He destroyed my entire nether wart farm, then moved on to destroy my wheat farm, and then just walked away like nothing happened. Ah, uh, finally I'm back to base. Wait, what happened here? Wait, my farm's gone. All of my chests are gone, even some of my brewing stands. Who could have done this? So for the next four days, I had to travel to a new and safer location. After gathering enough wood to build this base, it came out pretty nice. As you can see, I have this poisonous pond here. If you go in, you get poisoned. A little brewing area here. I even have a wheat farm outside and a nether wart farm on my roof. I spent the next five days sat in a mine. I got some lapis, redstone, gold, and even found some diamonds. Over the course of the five days, I found a pretty good amount of diamonds. And when I walked down this hallway, I saw something green. And when I walked up closer, it looked like it was a praying mantis. At first, it seemed like a pretty friendly guy. So when I got close to it, it looked at me and then hit me. So I figured at that point, I was within reason to kill it. And I also noticed this insect guarding the diamonds. So I had to eliminate it. I mined all the diamonds and then created myself a shield. And while I was exploring, I found this little cave, which looked to be some sort of spider spawner. I broke it immediately because because I wasn't sure how strong they'd be. I opened the chest and found a dark fruit pie, a fly wing, some golden nuggets, and a book. Inside the book, it read, In the depths of the abyss lies the antlion overlord, ruler of the insects. We definitely need to find that antlion overlord at some point, but for now, we need to get ourselves some obsidian. That way, we can make our enchantment table. And also, let's go ahead and make our diamond chest plate, leggings, and boots. After creating my armor, I got the obsidian I needed, and I ran into a woodland mansion. As soon as I opened the door, there was some sort of demon-looking thing shooting fireballs at me, so I immediately charged at him with my Demise Sword, blocking one of its hits and eliminating him fairly easily. The first room I looted had a bunch of chests, but none of the chests 
chests actually had any loot in them for some reason. I decided to walk back outside and saw this massive looking demon. This guy had to be affiliated with the last guy we just killed. I charged directly out of the house at this demon looking thing and hit it as many times as I could with my demise sword. And as you can see, he set fire to everything as he died. After I defeated that guy, I was able to do a little bit of parkour to make it to the second floor. I had no more food left, so I had to borrow the cake that they had left out on the table. Thanks. I looted one chest in this room, which didn't have anything, but when I opened the other one, I found some robot soldier boots. Let's go. And after a little bit longer on day 55, I had finally arrived back at base. I made some brewing stands and got some water bottles to brew potions. While brewing potions, I farmed up my entire nether wart farm and enchanted my robot boots, helmet, and chest plate. For the next five days, I went out exploring for the ant lion overlord. I found myself at the bottom of the tunnel and then text came up on my screen saying the antlion overlord i knew it was close when i walked in this room i had finally found it first thing i needed to do was eliminate all of its guardians by the looks of it it's got quite a lot of these good thing i'm in a lot of robot soldier armor otherwise i probably would have died in regular diamond i went ahead and eliminated a couple more of its guardians and when i went to fight the antlion overlord it looked like it accidentally hit its own guardians and then its own guardian started killing him also also not sure what's going on it has this blinding ability where it just throws sand at you and then you can't see and as you guys can see i took quite a bit of damage there so i had to use my health pot and eat some food to regen it also tried to blind me again good thing i was out of range I ended up getting cornered by this overlord and I almost went down so I had to throw another health pot and then it started doing some AoE ability that just kept hitting me over and over, almost killing me. I had to get the heck out of that corner. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to beat this thing. I knew I had it low but I only had one health pot left and I had to use it. I ended up getting cornered once again so I had to use this as an opportunity to unleash a fury of attacks and just like that we eliminated the antlion overlord. It started like glitching in the ground and experience came out everywhere. I had never seen this before, but look how many levels this thing gave me. I'm already past level 60. What the heck? It also seemed to have dropped some sort of egg. And when I broke it, it was an antline egg. Cool. I went to the back of the room to see what was inside of the chest, and when I opened it, there was a rhino shield, robot soldier leggings, a thunder spear, and another book. It's rumored Dr. Zuru has been developing a modified version of the Wither, turning it into a mega boss in attempts to destroy all of mankind. I figured we'd try and test out this thunder spear, and when I hit it, thunder literally striked down and set it on fire. This thing's insane. While I was returning home, I saw someone. Could that be Dr. Zuru? You will never find Forrest. He's gone. <laughs> This can't be good. It looks like this is Dr. Zuru in Yas Forest. I knew what this meant, and it meant war. We had to get prepared for this. So I went to enchant my Thunder Spear and found out you couldn't enchant that. But I did, however, enchant my Robot Leggings, Pickaxe, and my Rhino Shield also wouldn't enchant. I finished brewing my Strength and Instant Health in preparation for this fight. I went ahead and put torches all around my base, and then I surrounded my entire base with protective cobblestone walls. I went out exploring for forests for the next five days, and after climbing up this hill, I found a big cabin. Could Forrest possibly be in this cabin? Let's find out. After walking up the stairs, I saw a gravestone that said Rip Forrest. No, 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 this did not happen. And when I turned around to go up the stairs, I saw Dr. Zuru. You'll never catch me alive. As soon as I walked up to get Dr. Zuru, he spawned this green creature on me, but I killed it pretty quickly. The issue was my thunder was making everything burn down, which is making it a lot harder to catch up to him. When I went up another set of stairs, he spawned a level 3 Gekin on me, which almost killed me. Good thing I had brewed these health pots prior. Since the entire staircase got broken down, I had to use brick to build up, and Dr. Zuru jumped out of the window and started driving. Running away. I was not going to let him get away, so I drank my speed potion and began the chase. As I was getting closer, he shot an arrow at me, which slowed me down a little bit. I ended up chasing him for a couple of days and found myself in a massive jungle biome. And when I walked straight, I fell into some hole. I went to the bottom of it and looked around and saw a massive troll walking at me. So I drank my speed and strength in preparation. It shot something at me and got me to half HP. Oh my gosh, how much damage does this thing do? I realized when I was refilling my potions that I had no helmet. Somehow this troll had broken my helmet. 
Good thing it didn't have much health. It just ended up burning. Anyways, we walked up to the top to look for Dr. Zero, and he looked to be long gone. While I was traveling back home, I found some sort of beehive with seemed to be honey coming out, but I saw a chest at the very top. And when I walked over to this other one, there seemed to be a chest inside as well. When I opened it, I found some diamonds, a horn of bee summoning, and some gapples. And the other beehive had a robot soldier chest plate and some more diamonds. And on day 90, I finally made it back home. I wanted to get some brewing and enchanting done, but first I had to eliminate this scorpion that was outside of my base. I also went ahead and harvested my entire wheat farm and got a crap ton of bread from it. I ended up enchanting my helmet and boots. Boots. I traveled for three days and found a massive temple. I was hoping that this was Dr. Zuru's. When I walked up the stairs, I saw the Skeleton King and I knew I had to eliminate this thing before it destroyed all of mankind. When I got close, a Skeleton's King Paladin spawned on me and almost two-shot me. That thing does insane damage. I walked up to try to kill it and it almost two-shot me again. This thing is no joke. It does way too much damage. I walked up the stairs and got a couple good hits on the Skeleton King and fell down and almost died and I had to use my last health potion. I figured this was do or die. I gave everything I had and eliminated the Skeleton King and ran away. I knew I had to take down Dr. Zuru, so I popped my strength and speed potion. I ran up the stairs and spawned in at my horn of bee summoning, but the bees didn't actually help. Eat food to make sure my health regens, and he hit me once and did half my health, and he hit me again and got me to 1 HP, but we were able to eliminate Dr. Zuru. I spent the next three days traveling back to Forest Gravestone to tell him that I eliminated Dr. Zuru. Painful? Wait, why does that tombstone have my name on it? Wait, what? You're alive? Dr. Zuru had me convinced that he had killed you. Who the heck is Dr. Zuru? Oh, are you referring to the hobo that lives in the cave? Hobo? I was talking about the, uh, never mind. I'm just glad to see that you're alive. Likewise, let's get the heck out of this dimension. Make sure you check out Forrest's video linked in the description below. We both had completely different objectives and fought different bosses. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.